and Metro. We've been through many struggles together. And I'm glad I participated in the changing of this nation. I'm honored to be here today to accept the New York State Martin Luther King Humanitarian Award. We have for my father, the Harlem Renaissance man. From Birmingham to Harlem to South Africa, he has devoted his life to the cause of civil and human rights to make all our lives better and more hopeful. During the early years of the civil rights struggle, he served as the first executive director of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and the strategist and chief of staff to Martin Luther King, who we first met in 1958. They had a very deep personal relationship and suffered the battle wounds from America's revolution for civil rights. In this most recent book by author Mary C. Bounds, A Light Shines in Harlem, New York State's first charter school move, uh, charter school and the movement that it led. My father speaks about his relationship with Dr. King, his loss, how he went into depression for six months after Dr. King was assassinated. I last saw Dr. King at our church March 28th, 24th, 1968, when he installed my father as pastor of the great Canaan Baptist Church of New York City. That was the last time I saw Dr. King, who called me his godson. It's difficult for me to still speak about it. And I last spoke to him the night before he was assassinated. He called our house in Yonkers to speak to my father. We never knew why he called or what he had to say. But I was always just blessed to be in his presence and to be around him and my father at some times. I would like to thank Governor Cuomo, the organizers, Beverly Austin, my father's publicist, Dawn Hill, please stand, is here today. My homeboy, Al Brisbane in the band. I'm a musician, and we'd like to thank everybody who contributed to this program. I'd like to let you know my father is alive and doing well. He's 86 years old, living in Chester, Virginia. His mind is as sharp and crystal clear as ever. I'd like to say God bless you all, and happy birthday, Uncle Martin. God bless you.